Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the shop. Today is my first video from quarantine, so if I have more ideas, I will be doing more of these. So in this video, I'm going to be doing another Glowforge laser cutter project. This is actually a follow-up to a previous video where I made this thing. You may have seen it. It's my most popular video so far. This is just a piece of clay sandstone stuff that I engraved this random pattern on. So the cool thing about this is where the laser engraved, it actually turned the stone to glass. And so I posted this on the Glowforge forum, as well as on YouTube, and someone suggested that I engrave a dinosaur skeleton to make it look like a fossil. So I'm finally getting around to doing that. Hopefully it works. I've got this different kind of stone. This is like some kind of paving stone from my front yard. I put together a design I hope will work in AutoCAD. I'm gonna see what happens. So before I did this, I was unsure if it would work. So I did do it a few test pieces. It's pretty similar. I mean, the color's a little different. I'm not sure why, but the thickness of the line is different too. I didn't change any settings. I don't know if that was an update to Glowforge or just the stone being different. But I'll put a link to this video if you're interested in that. It's pretty cool. So I've got this. I don't think I'm gonna do anything to the stone beforehand. I'm just gonna go put it in the laser and see what happens. Okay, let's get this laser going. So I've taken out the, the tray already. This is a little thick. And I've stacked up some just cheap wood, some scrap wood. I'm just gonna place this right in the middle. Let's go to the computer. Yeah, here's the design I've made. I made it by mostly just tracing and then adding my own little bits on some pictures of these fossils embedded in stone. A lot of extra lines in here are just hopefully to fill it in. I hope they're close enough together that they kind of blend together. That's my goal here. So you can kind of see it's some kind of pterosaur. Got a head, wings. But anyway, I've already imported it into the Glowforge software. Might be kind of hard to see, but I've got it placed on the rock. If you're curious, my settings, slowest speed, full power, and a cool new feature. I can just set the focus. Like that. This is, I mean, it's, I don't know how new it is because it's been a little while since I've used my laser, but it's new to me. Now just hit print. And because the speed is set so slow, this will take an hour, but I'm in quarantine, there's nothing else to do, so it'll be fine. Okay, now I've got my, my janky filming set up. iPad to film the time lapse on the music stand. And then here, I've got my anti-glare shield since I'm in a sunroom. I just stick that on top and hit start and hit the button. Before I pull that out of the laser, just wanted to let you know that if you would like one of these machines, best laser cutter I've ever used, I've used several, I've got a link in the description, you can use my referral code, you can get up to $500 off a Glowforge laser cutter, depending on which model you get. It's a great deal, highly recommended. Pulled it out of the laser, and it, it kind of worked. So th all these lines were supposed to kind of fill it in didn't really work the way I wanted it to. So I'm gonna retry it on this smaller piece right here. So I'm gonna scale it down and that'll hopefully get these lines closer together, which may make it look better. So from far away, it doesn't look as bad. Yeah. It looks cool from far away. I wanna make one on this piece that's smaller. Hopefully make it look good close up. New piece in. So
type two. Looks a little bit better. From here, this one looks really good, but still up close, you can still see the lines in some places. Down here, it's starting to look better. Down here, definitely still see the lines. So I am going to do one more since I have the time in quarantine. This piece, I think it's the same kind of stuff, but I'm gonna do one more on this piece, a little smaller than that one, and hopefully it'll look good. So in addition to the Gloveforge referral link, there will also be a link to my t-shirts that I sell on Amazon and sweaters and that kind of thing. And there is also a link for the Robinhood trading app, which is a free stock trading app. And you'll be able to get a free stock when you sign up with my link. I'll also get a free stock and it'll help me with the channel. And also right now, I'm not a financial advisor. Let me premise that with that. But I'm not a financial advisor, so don't take advice from me. But now is a great time to buy into the stock market with all this stuff going on in the world. Many stocks are down 30, 50%. So check that out. got all three done now. This one does look a lot better. You can see, you can't see the lines as much. You may have noticed this white stuff on there. That's some kind of soot or something. I'm not quite sure what it is uh, caused by the laser. But if you just take a wet paper towel, it comes right off. So I'm gonna do that now. Just gotta spray a bottle with some water. As you can see, it just wipes right off. So just do this to all three. I'll give you a final look. Okay, I wasn't fully able to get all of the white out, but they turned out pretty good. Okay, this test turned out pretty well for far away. I call it a partial success. Not exactly what I had in mind, but all right, it worked out pretty well. Hopefully I'm in frame. I will probably be doing at some point some more tests on this. So if I can figure out a better way to do this, I'll put it out another video and that'll be who knows when that'll happen. So if you like that video, please subscribe, hit the like button, share it with some friends, especially since everyone's stuck inside right now. It's something to do. I hope you enjoyed this project. We've got tons more coming out in the future. You can follow me on Instagram at Into the Woodshop for behind the scenes updates, stuff like that. And even now on TikTok, I, I just made a TikTok and it's it's a lot more random than then YouTube and Instagram, a lot more random content, but I don't know if you have a TikTok, why not follow me? Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.